Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can clean install Windows 10 on your PC since a lot of viewers from my recent videos asked me how to do a clean install on Windows 10 so today I'm gonna show you how you can do it without a DVD drive or something like that so just using the internet and USB and that's it so make sure your USB is at least 8 gigabytes of memory so make sure it's more than that and all you need is a USB and internet and of course laptop or PC so let's get started so all you have to do is to go to this website this is microsoft.com their, their official site so this will be in the description of the video so go and scroll down until you see this download now click on it and you will have this media creation tool 22h2 so so another thing that you will do is to create a bootable usb drive is using rufus is very pro popular uh, program for it and scroll down go to this link it will be in the description of the video and click on this one make sure it's the latest one and after downloaded it you can close this your browser and then you will have these two files right now media creation tool and rufus the first that you have to do is to go to media creation tool double click on it okay, yes I'm gonna wait a little bit to start and type in this PC then click on this one here you go to right click properties and here you will see on system type it will be 64 or 32 it depends which processor do you have if you have 64 you put 64 if 32 you could go for 32 Okay, so go recommend it if you want. I'm gonna go recommend it. Click on next. Then go to ISO file. Select ISO file. Next. And then we're gonna choose where do you want it to save, to be saved. And of course, we wait for the downloading process to finish. Now, after the process has been finished and it has been downloaded, you will have this windows.iso file, which we will need. So go now, launch Rufus. So I'm gonna plug in the USB in my PC now. So as you can see the USB has been detected so we gotta select now the ISO file this one that we downloaded before from create media create tool we go select and then we choose where we downloaded the ISO file so let everything as default here and click on start and you can check this if you want disable data collection if you want so it doesn't really matter so go to okay go next next and just go but be careful this will delete everything from your usb device After this has been completed, just quit Rufus, just close it, and now we have to set the BIOS for USB to boot from it, so let's go and do it, I'm gonna show you right now. So to enter the BIOS, you need to go to start menu, and then click on this power button and go to restart restarting your pc
and after it restarts it's usually you see for me it's here press delete to enter setup i'm gonna go to you have to find like something like section like boot and then we see like something like boot option it's it's not for same for same pc it's you have to see for yourself on your own pc how it's but it's usually on boot category and then here on option you have to put to be the first one so usb this one so your usb is on priority on number one not number two number three but number one so let's make it number two number one and go exit here and save changes and exit and after that it will boot from usb okay so after you set up bios and boot it from your usb you should have this screen right now go to next click on install install now click on if you have a product key then you insert the product key here if you don't have you just click on the i don't have a product key or you can reactivate later so here we're gonna choose which version do you want so for example i want this one go next I'm gonna click on I accept license terms and go next. Custom install Windows only. And now here we're gonna go to if you have for example if I have if you have like this I'm gonna show you right now. If it's like this for you, just go to to make a clean install, I just go delete, okay? And then go to format this one as well. And click on this one new click on apply and that's pretty much it you don't need to reformat this if you don't want to you don't need just this the big one the 100 gigs or one terabyte if you have just one this one you may reformat click ok you don't need to format this type of system this one you don't need it to format but you can i think you can if you want but on this one you go format and that's it and next uh we're gonna wait for this after a pc restart the several times we're gonna go to yes here After we get to this point, just click on yes, skip. You can go to the latest windows to update if you want. So I'm gonna skip for now, you go click on get it. If you want, I'm gonna, you can do it later from windows update. So I'm gonna go skip now. Skip for now. Now here we're gonna go for personal use. If it's personal use, go to this. If it's for organization, next. This is personal use. So, so if you have a Microsoft account, log in with your Microsoft account. I don't have, so I go with offline account. Limited experience. Name of the PC. Next. So if you don't want to set password, just to go next. I don't want this, so I go no. I'm gonna go to decline. Usually. I like to turn off everything. If I want this to be on, just let it on. I usually turn them off. Accept. And there we go, we are in Windows. And that's it, how you install Windows 10. So, 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Subscribe and like for more videos. Bye.